These are the faces of Trent twins, Michael and Christian, sometimes known as Carson and Mitchell. I'm Mitchell. This is Carson. We're the test. And they have gotten some serious backlash, with some saying that these kids are destroying themselves. And can you imagine the state of their hearts? They started their YouTube fitness journey in August 2022, making some flaps in the kitchen, going through a push day. First gym vlog chest day, hope you like it, testing out the new camera, was their description. They were down to earth, seemingly humble and relatable. But things have changed since then, with people saying they will regret their life decision when they are older, or they will be dead by age 40. Or even sooner, like Dallas McCarver, who died at age 26 in 2017 due to taking heavy dosages of both Tess and Trin. But it's okay because they will be huge and shredded in their coffin, because they trained to be weapons. The twins will go out of their way to say, don't do drugs, but then turn around and say this. So tip number one is peptides and steroids. <laughs> <laughs> to get bigger biceps. Their advice even goes as far as comparing sheltered kids who become drug addicts to Planet Fitness. Spoken by a drug addict. It's not just Delta that noticed that as well. I had a similar comment, but I actually got a reply from the twins. You're actually retarded. Interesting choice of words, fellas. It's also interesting how they had the opportunity to be a positive role model. However, they just completely missed. Of course, there's one more reply from a fan. LOL, not the reply I expected, but definitely the reply they deserved. Within this small time frame, Michael has changed a lot, especially compared to Christian, which makes you think that there might be more going on than what we might think. Take a look at these two clips, from their oldest video to their most recent video as of recording this video. All your insecurities, all your fucking doubts, you come here and you're pushing that negativity up your fucking chest. So that I am indeed hitting the muscle group that I fucking want to and not ego lifting for once and I'm getting results. Can you catch the difference? It may seem like a minute thing, but Mike's voice has gotten significantly deeper compared to Christian's voice. But there's more. In the same video, Christian seems pretty surprised by how much larger Mike has gotten in a short period. And this makes me think that perhaps Mike is taking more gear behind the scenes. Mike and Christian were being brothers, but Mike gets angrier and resorts to throwing a boxing glove at Christian's hand. The glove ends up bouncing off and hitting Kyle, their cameraman, in the nuts. And Mike doesn't apologize, at least in the video, and leaving Kyle in agony laying on the ground. Now believe it or not, I actually do like the Trent twins, even though Mike or Christian called me retarded. I know I'm not the brightest, but I'm bright enough to see the positives. Their training techniques are actually pretty solid. Mike's advice on hypertrophy is very smart as a bodybuilder. There's a lot of <laughs> tips that you definitely aren't utilizing. <laughs> what? Don't know about resistance training. Which, by the way, is advice that Jeff Nippard gives out consistently. Christian seems to diss this knowledge as if Mike doesn't know what he is talking about. It's just taking another step of hypertrophy to the next level. They're listening too much to Jeff Nippard, bro. And the advice that both the twins do give out is actually really good advice that pertains to both enhanced and natty lifters. Mike's knowledge isn't always 100%, like when he says his forearms are a part of his biceps. We're gonna be working the this muscle ray, we're gonna hit two of this section part of bicep. What he means is that reverse cars hit both the bicep and the forearms by twisting the wrist over. Just because he didn't say what he was thinking perfectly does not negate the knowledge that he does have. You don't need to be perfect. Now being a twin myself, we don't always listen to each other, especially if one has science-based knowledge. It's as normal as fighting consistently. Step seven. Grab your keys to your Hellcat red eye and crash it. Step nine, elbow your brother in the face. This is normal brotherly love. As normal as the support they give each other throughout their workout sessions, eating together and bullshitting together. The good attitude towards other gym members is a good example of being a good role model, like respecting other people's space, taking time to meet and talk with their fans at fitness expos makes important impressions. These guys are huge role models. They are perfectly 
imperfect, but they can make small steps to be a tad better. A ton of the audience is probably and most likely in high school and they know this. You can easily check that by going to the YouTube analytics. These kids at this age is extremely impressionable. So being very clear on not taking steroids during high school, especially, is extremely important because steroids literally change your life. And being natty and strong should be encouraged by the twins. And finally guys, slow down a little bit, walk onto stage, get some bodybuilding experience, and get better and better. We do not need another person like Dallas McCarver dying due to an enlarged heart becoming suffocated.